All right. Now in section 1.1 one, we're talking about graphs of equations. And one important feature about graphs are their intercepts. There are two kinds of intercepts. There are x-intercepts and y-intercepts. Whenever a graph crosses the y-axis or the x-axis, these are both intercepts. When it crosses the x-axis here, we call this an x-intercept. And when it crosses the y-axis, that's called a y-intercept. Now, the best way to illustrate this concept and explain how to find intercepts is just through simple examples. So I'm going to look at problem 34 of this section which is on page 63. And in 34 we're finding the intercepts of the following equation. x over 2 minus y over 3 equals 1. Now to find an x-intercept, just look at what's special about x-intercepts. To hit an x-intercept, you're just going to move right or left a certain amount. You'll never move up or down any on the graph. So your y-coordinate, the amount you move up or down, is going to be zero. So to find a y-intercept, you just, excuse me, to find an x-intercept, you just set y equal to zero and solve for the x value. So in this case, if we let y be zero, that leaves us with x over two minus zero over three equals one. And zero over three is just zero. So this is x over two minus zero equals one. And anything minus zero is just itself. So now all we have to do to solve for x is to multiply both sides by two and 2 times x over 2 will just leave me with x and 2 times 1 will be 2. So the x-intercept is going to be the point 2, 0. Or sometimes we'll even say that the x-intercept is just x equals 2 knowing that this represents a point, the point where the x-coordinate is 2 and the y-coordinate is 0. Now we have to find the y-intercept. And just like with x-intercepts, what's special about y-intercepts is that you just move up or down to get to a y-intercept. You never have to move left or right any. So your x-coordinate, which tells you how far left or how far right you have to go, is just going to be zero, because you don't go left or right any amount. You do go up or down. So we're going to have a y-coordinate, but the x-coordinate will always be zero. So with the y-intercept, you set x equal to zero and solve for y. So for the x-intercept, you set y equal to zero. For the y-intercept, you set x equal to zero. To find an intercept, you set the opposite variable equal to zero. So in this case, setting x equal to zero, we're going to have zero over two minus y over three equals one. Well, zero over two is just zero. Zero minus y over three is just a minus y over 3, and if we multiply both sides by a negative 3, 
negative 3 times y over negative 3, negative times a negative will be a plus, and 3 divided by 3 is just 1, so it leaves me with just y. Negative 3 times 1 is a negative 3. So our y-intercept is the point where x equals 0. That means that y will be the point minus 3. So this is our answer, or sometimes we'll say that the y-intercept is simply y equals minus 3, and we'll understand that if this is a y-intercept, that this is actually a point where the x-coordinate is 0 and the y-coordinate is minus 3.